Right, what's up everyone? Welcome back to more Assassin's Creed Valhalla. This is part two. We've rescued our crew. We're here where we left off in the last video. And we're about to make our escape and reach our long ship. So, I hope you all enjoy this and let's do it. Okay, we've got some wealth over there. So if you were to just run off and go to your longship, kill everybody and leave, you'd miss all this. And to me, searching around and finding things in certain areas before you move on gives me that sense of achievement that you've actually got more out of the game. To me, I feel that if you just run off, don't try it in search areas and find things that could be found, then I don't feel you're getting much out of the game at all, but that's just my opinion. That's not a knock on anybody who's playing the game, that's just my opinion, so I feel it's always best to search around. Right, we've got some upgrades we can do, so we can upgrade the hood, the armour, or the breeches, or the braces. I think what we'll start with is the hood, and then when we get the next upgrade, we'll uh, do the one below. So we'll do them individually. So let's upgrade the Raven Pan Cloak. That's up to max at the moment. Can't upgrade any more, so that's that done for the moment. Doesn't look good. Oh, my God. 
I'll crush you. <laughs> Oh nice! I didn't expect you to get your arrows back when you loot the bodies. That's a good move. I thought they were all uh, one and done when you fired them off. You had to wait till you find places where you can replenish your arrows for the bows that you have. So it's good to know that you can pick them up again when you loot the enemy bodies. Show me what lies ahead. You're mine! Dag, Braggy, grab your oars. The whale road leads us home. Gods, it's about time. Stop yapping and start rowing. Sail out. Rather silent, Eivor. Anything to say for the mess you led us to? We suffered no losses in this fight, and the men who humiliated us are dead. What is that to say? Oh, something like, I was stupid, selfish, reckless, blind, bone-headed, and I smell like blood and shit? I like my version better. Eivor, look! Someone is setting up an outpost on that island. Cured of his men. Gnawing at any piece of open land like dogs worrying a bone. Even with you half in the grave, we could easily take them. <laughs> we fight! Uh. Oh. Half blood back! Even I was longer to <laughs> back! <laughs> Out and crush you! Yeah! 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 Yay! 
nice. We've got a new weapon, the bone biter. So we'll check that out later and so it compares to the weapons we already have. If it's under, perhaps by taking it to Gunner at the camp, or able to upgrade it ourselves and include a room onto it as well, we may make it a bit better than what it already is. But we'll have to wait and see till we get to that point. Let the sail Please out! Jotva will come for us now, harder and stronger than before. No surprise there. This war has spun on for three generations. I hardly expect him to relent. Your hatred for that man burned bright wolf kiss. I could warm my balls on it. Would you not prefer a pair of sealskin breeches? Just take care, Eivor. Such hatred can make you careless. What he did to your father, he did to all of us. You are not in this fight alone. King Sterbjorn will scold you for setting out against his wishes. Of course he will. Is that not something you worry over? I worry only that our king will not see that I'm right. Until it's too late. What about Sigurd? What would he say? If Sigurd were here, he would be sitting beside you, wiping the blood from his axe and smiling into the breeze. And what will you tell our king about this misadventure? Only the truth. That we attacked Jotva's fortress, killed his men, and weakened his control of this land. Will you mention the part where you lost your crew and were nearly sold as a thrall? Will that be part of your saga? If there is a skull to dare sing that verse, it will be his last song. Sail down! Let's put her in here. Well, well, the feeder of ravens returned, and not half dead. We thought we had lost you, Eivor, for good this time. A warm welcome as always, Randri. You look like red and shit. What happened? Nothing to crow about, except to say the men who delayed us are dead. And how are you? Well enough, though I have spent many tiresome days calming the rages of our king. He is not happy with you. I expected as much. And what of Sigurd? Has he returned from his raids? My husband should be home today. The last we heard, he was approaching Stavanger. Good to hear. We have need of his courage. Sigurd will not save you from his father's wrath, Eivor. You should know that by now. Did your raid not go as planned? They rarely go as planned. But we killed many of Kyoto's warriors. And there was this. My father's axe among the dead. Ah. After so many years. You should take it to Gunnar. He will give it back its edge. A good idea. After I see our king. That I do not advise. Not yet. He is meeting with a messenger from the north. I can wait. A cloud hangs over you. Is something wrong? 
Seeing my father's axe after 17 winters, it stirred something in me. A feeling I've not had since the day he was killed. Since the day I got this. Memories of past agonies. Of sadness and pain. I should speak with Valka. She could help me make sense of my feelings. Take your time getting settled. I will see you at the Longhouse. I think you have lost your edge, Eivor. Just like that axe. Maybe Gunnar can help you with both. I will let you know. Okay, quest complete. On a bound. So that quest line is now finished in chapter one, I presume. Two skill points acquired. Let's um, check those out now. No types. Spending skill points on nodes will improve your fighting skills. Stat nodes improve the base stats. Main skills unlock fighting moves. Global power. Quick nodes will increase your power. The higher the power, the more prepared you are for the challenges to come. If the is open, you can let fate decide. All your unspun skill points will be automatically selected. 2.3 melee damage. Range 2.3. Stealth 1.7. So we'll go with melee first. Then what we've got here, melee resistance 7.2. 2.3 range damage. Stealth, that's another one. Uh, what we've got here, health. Ah, that's crucial for this game. This one gives you a 7.3, but we'll go with the health now. I feel that's more needed in this type of game. So we're at a power level 5. Okay, while we're here, let's check out Varin's axe against the bone biter. There we go. So, on attack and stun, the bone biter is significantly better. But on weight, it's rather heavy, and Varin's axe is quite light. Then on the speed, Varen's axe is better, and on the crit free also. So maybe if we upgrade when we can and equip a room, we might actually be able to make Varen's axe a bit closer to the bone biter. Check out our new quests. Family Matters, part of Battle for the Northern Way Chapter 2. Eivor returns home to face a foster father's fury. Speak to Gunnar, the blacksmith. So we'll set that. The other one is a seer solace. Beset by vivid visions, Eivor seeks out the local seer for counsel. So we've got to reach Valka's hut. So we'll go and talk to Gunnar now. See him, the blacksmith. Pan is happy to see Eivor's return. That's nice. Nice community, nice people, that's what you want in life if you're in a clan. If we can't get to speak to the king after this, then we'll switch over to the Seer's Solace quest and then come back and do this one afterward. Who's this? Let's check this out. Well, look who it is. Practicing your wordplay, Alvis. Ah, Eivor! <laughs> The only mouth in Midgard from which I fear mockery. You taught me the art of writing poetry, old friend. It is only natural that I surpass you soon. How about another lesson then? A quick flight. Right here, right now. What do you say? Let's try flighting. I always put a few coins down as a wager. Most of those who enjoy flighting have an equal fondness for betting. But today, we'll abstain. 
Let me begin. I'm ready. Inflating its key to match cadence and rhyme. It's as much about sound as it is about time. So be careful in choosing the words that you say. I'll recall what you taught ere I enter the fray. A fine answer. Perfect rhyme and a lovely cadence to match my line. Now, let us examine meaning. <clears throat> In flighting, you'll need to be cutting and keen. It's about wielding wit more than venting your spleen. If I tell you you're foolish and stupid and dull... Then I'll tell you you've nothing inside of your skull. Ah, a good response. I called you stupid and you turned it around. Flighting about wit, you matched my meaning. When you think of too many perfect retorts, use the one that best matches the meaning. Last one. So go then and conquer the world with your wit. Go be clever, be quick, show your spirit and grit. I look eagerly forward to seeing how you fare. I will flight you with flourish and best you with flair. Perfect, yes. <laughs> you could destroy me with such a line. Your flighting's astounding. You're worthy of praise. You swing a fine axe and you turn a good phrase. Thank you, Alvis. I'll take the lesson to heart. Charisma. Winning fighting duels increases charisma level, which can unlock special dialogue options in certain situations. Okay. Now we got it. So, in order to get a perfect against him, if you took him on in the flighting challenge, you just go bottom, top, and then middle with all your arches. Eivor, come to keep your blade sharp? Wolf kissed. Welcome back. Gunnar, I have something here you might like to see. Thunderclap of Thor! Is that your father's axe? I have not seen this beauty since, well, for some time. I forged this weapon long ago. Still looks good. One of my finest, I think. It has a blunted blade, but it swings well. Can you sharpen it? I can give it a better edge and reinforce the handle. And as luck will have it, I have one ingot left for the job. Are you sure? The fates have will it so. But in future... Bring your own metal ingots. I cannot forge them from empty air. Enhanced gear. Bringing wealth ingots to the settlement's forge will allow Gunnar to enhance armor and weapons. Doing so will unlock rune slots, increase the piece's upgrade limit, and may improve its appearance also. Okay, so there's a lot to do if you ask Gunnar to do some work for you in the forge. But anything? So let's go ahead and upgrade Baron's axe. It will go from being a fine bearded axe to a superior bearded axe now. New moon slot and a new appearance. There we go. Done. And we've got a new room slot open for a room to be placed on it as well. That should do it. Anything else? And how are you, Gunnar? Holding up? Yeah, work is good and my spirits are strong, but my nights are newly cold. My lady left me, if you have not heard. I had. Sorry to hear it. You were together how long? <sighs> Five weeks, it was. Five beautiful, passionate weeks. But all that is done. Will I never find my Brunhilde? Valkyries do not walk the world as they once did, Gunnar. Maybe set your sights a bit lower. Lower? My friend, look at my wares, my weapons. I'm not a man to settle for less than the finest of anything. Let's see what's on offer. Nothing. Everything that we've already got. We can upgrade the breaches, the braces, our armor and our hood if we wish to. We can do that right here, right now. But nothing else alternative is available. So maybe over time, 
things haven't just opened up yet. So maybe if you visit him again, there'll be other things that we didn't see before. But, yeah, unfortunately, that's it for the moment. Do you need anything else? That's all for now. Return any time. Right now, our quest has been updated. We need to go and speak to Randy. I take it that's um, Sigurd's wife. Don't know what position she holds, but I'm sure we'll find out soon. Just before we go, let's go into the inventory. Right, what I want to do is equip a room into the axe for a little bit of extra. So I've got the minor rune of rage, weapon rune, so that can go in the axe there, in that empty rune slot. I think I actually have to click on it, not. There you go. So that gives us 2.4 attack extra with the upgrade on the axe. So I wanted to put that in. The shield, don't know if the shield has an empty rune slot on it. No, it doesn't at the moment. So that's done. Okay, off to speak to Randy. Sit a while and play, friend. Oh, it's a game. Four log. Two players duel by rolling dice and invoking god favors. No, maybe another time. Not yet. I'm sorry, my friend, but another time. What we've got over here, we've got things right out the way as well. Right over the back. What's um, this going to be about? Toby, trading a needle for an arrow, I see. Eivor, can you teach me the art of archery? I would be happy to. Okay, so we've got one down on the left, one on the right in between those two there, one up on the cliff, one next to it, and one at the top. So there's five targets altogether. Okay, let's teach Joe how to fire a bow and arrow. See how I'm standing. Plant your feet in the ground, no wider than your shoulders. Breathe in as you draw the arrow back. Look at the point you want to hit. Now imagine the arrow passing straight through it and far beyond. Breathe out, then release. Thank you, Eivor. Now, I have something for you. See, all in the eye. Thank you, Eivor. As a gift, I could design a new tattoo for you. Something to decorate your scar. A kind offer, but I want this scar visible. Oh, I did not mean to offend. In any case, I do have a tattoo for you. Tattoo shop. Visit the tattoo shop to apply a tattoo. Use up with the raven to use settlement services. Looking rough you are. Welcome home. Caught anything? Not today. The fish aren't biting. Too many passing boats churning the water. I lack the patience for pole fishing. I would have better luck with my bow. Shooting fish with a bow. That could work. Hello, Eivor. Hello, 
Hi. Can you point me to some good hunting grounds? I could. But I don't want every iron foot with a bow scaring away the game. Bring me three deer antlers to prove your skills, and I might just have a story for you. A worthy challenge. I will see you soon. Who would like to hear a story? Who this would land enjoy will a never tale prosper of the gods? while clan battles clan. Hey, Tekla, what is brewing? Alvis tells me this brew is too strong. Think you can handle a few rounds? There has always been war in the gods. When Midgarda was strong, the battle for Asian, hating the Vanya's magic, betrayed Kossu and made murder in Odin's great fall. Who way the Vanya was killed and fell? Not once, but three times. And we born Freya, mother of the world. The war came after echoes from the Nile Lord still. Miss Garda would drown in the black spell, and their dead would hide the sun. Those bravely fallen now died, went Heimdall to blow the Yaller horn and summon them to battle one last time. Losses on both sides left each open to attacks from Jotnar and other monsters. So Odin, in his wisdom, proposed a truce and marriage to the war which Freya owned were made. Horns were raised, and from the gods mingled spit was born, fully formed, Kvasmir, wiser than Odin himself. This was the same Kvasmir whose stolen blood became the meat of poetry. But that is another story. Now have a map available. So we can summon by if using the quick action wheel or by holding left to the D-pad down as the quick action. Well drunk. Well done. You look like you know a thing or two about dice. They must be finished now. If you have any other business, it may be wise to do it now. Let him cool down. I could speak to Volker first. Get this weight off my mind. The king is not going anywhere. Okay, so we've got to switch our quests because we can't go and see the king just yet. So let's do that now. And we'll select the Seer Sonic. That's the one we'll be doing. Then we'll return and go see the king after that. Let's go into the inventory to put some more gear. So the Hunnish bow is what we've already got, and the Iron Harger bow is now available. That's superior. So we'll switch to that. Now we get the Berserker armor which is off the season pass, so we'll equip all of those on the Berserker side. The armour. And then... Down and get the braces. You can have a bare head if you like, or that mask, I don't feel the point in having them on. So there's the braces. And then we'll go down and get the breeches. So we're all equipped on the Berserker side now. A brand new superior outfit. Shield. We've now got the Ursine Guard, which is a lot better than the shield that we've got at the moment, the Raven Clan shield. And we've also got the Modernite Ceremonial Shield, but we'll take the Ursine Guard, as you can see here, by the stats. You can see that it's significantly better than what we are actually using at the moment. So that's the best one to go with. Right, what else can we do? Um, don't need to change the weapons. I think that roughly is about it. You can see the other items that we got though. Bayek's outfit, Ezio outfit, Knight of the Round Table armour, Basim's outfit, Modernite Ceremonial Robe and Altair's outfit from the very first Assassin's Creed. I got all those off of um, Ubisoft Connect, they were free. So I've now got my runes, 
from my actual um, season pass. That's given us all these decorations for our camp as well. We can set them up when we get to certain points and make our camp look nice for our clan. And on the left hand side you can see the resources, crafting materials, consumables and all the other things that we have that we've collected along the way. We've got a few more down the bottom, some more tattoos, a couple more decorations and some trade goods. So if we come across anybody that we can trade with, we can offload those onto them. That's a note from the previous person we just met, so then they wanted three deer antlers for a story. So we've still got that to do. And I think that is roughly it. What's in the database? Let's find out about the people. Oh god, look at all them. Randry. Randry's love for her husband Sigurd takes the same form as most in the Raven clan know. Admiration from a distance. Given the number of times Sigurd has spent travelling during their arranged marriage, the two are still strangers in many ways. But Randry is at her core. A pragmatic woman who knows from her people's harsh history that there are far worse fates than a utilitarian marriage. Gunnar. Gunnar the blacksmith has a special fondness for Eivor, having been orphaned himself but at a much younger age. The people of Heilborg became the new extended family and after Varen's death he carried out that love of community to Thornburg. Now well into his adult years he goes for a more immediate family he can call his own. Dag. As the toughest and strongest of young Prince Sigurd's playmates, Dag was certain of his destiny. When the prince became king, he would be Sigurd's right hand. Then Eivor's village was raised and everything changed. When King Stearborn adopted Eivor, Dag knew things would never be the same with his oldest and best friend, but the fates can turn anyone's luck. Kyotve the Cruel Long is the list of warriors lost to the bloody clan wars that ravaged Ragnifelka, but few will be remembered with the same fear and loathing as Kyotve the Cruel. Kyotve's rise to prominence from a relatively insignificant clan was fast and brutal. Some have said he was helped by a secret, distant allies, but those voices were quickly silenced. He privately wonders whether his son Gorm will prove too weak to take Ragnifelka himself, and so is determined to beat the land into submission before the final day. Odin, the Hanged God, Shield Shaker, Greybeard and Wanderer are just a few of the many, many names of Odin. The Allfather, having effectively created the Nine Realms out of the carcass of a dead giant, Odin feels he should be exempt from any binding fate, particularly one that ends in the jaws of a monstrous wolf. His thirst for power through knowledge is unquenchable. He sacrificed an eye for insight and hung himself over the tree, Yogdrasil, in the father of all near-death experiences. When not acting in his role as chief among the Norse gods, he wanders the mortal realm, Midgard, often in the form of a bearded old man, wearing a long cloak, a wide hat and carrying a staff. Classic Odin. Okay, so that's where we're going to leave it for this part. So, hope you enjoyed everything you've seen so far. If you have, don't forget to leave a like and a comment. Let me know what you think. Don't forget to subscribe if you're new. Help support the channel. Thanks for watching and I will see you on the next video. Take care of yourselves out there in the world and bye bye for now.